Sidney Crosby signed an extension. <laughs> yep. Just signed it now. Yep. Uh, I two, saw it. Two years, $8.7 million. Now, here's what I'm trying to figure out. Number one, did the CJ show catch this <laughs> before they finished I think they're, recording? I don't no, know. they recorded this morning. Yeah, I don't no! know. No! <laughs> well, we caught I it. That's okay. We caught it. No, what? I know. It was funny, though. And number two, where does he sign in two years? Yeah. Well, technically three years. Where does he get traded? Oh, he might. During the length of this contract. You know what? The yeah. countdown to 2027 is on. I think that's <laughs> really cool that Sid would sign at 8.7 at this point in his career when that's still a discount. This is a man who last year you could argue was top 10 center, top five even. Uh, he, he definitely could have got hard trophy votes if the Penguins made the playoffs. And the fact that he's taken such an incredible discount just for the sake of, I want to continue to win in Pittsburgh. This is my gift back to you, the fan base. And I'm never going to, in my any moment in my career, make a double digit number. Like, what an incredible Insane. person uh, Crosby is and what a legacy he's building and leaving behind for the game of hockey. I'll be honest, though. When he signed that contract, it was pretty significant. That was yes. huge dollars. He was the best it, player in the league, though. Yeah. Yes. So he like, deserved it. No one was like, can you build a team around Crosby? Yeah, no, everybody was. Now, I don't know. here's the question, Pittsburgh fans. What if Crosby gets tired of watching the playoffs? You know what? Now this opens up uh, the possibility of a trade. That's what I think. <laughs> That's a really reasonable cap hit. That's a movable deal. <laughs> Don't you think? I think Sidney Crosby will always have a movable deal. Mm. He can make 15 and you'd be like, yeah, we could double retain or something. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. No, I think, like, listen, listen. I'm The reasons for Crosby leaving Pittsburgh are obvious. We, they're not good and they're not going to be good. Yeah, we've talked about that. Now, could he get them to the playoffs? Yes, he could. Mm -hmm. I think he could. Um... Could they take another crack at it? Mm, less optimistic about that. We've we've talked about all the reasons for why he might leave. He's there. He's he's there this year. He's going to be there the next two. And until there is strong evidence that something's going to happen, I'm leaving it alone. Sydney, I will not. No, I'm poking this. Sidney Crosby's what thirty seven? Yes. And I, so he'll be 40 when this deal's up. I don't imagine Sidney Crosby's going to play late into his 40s. I don't no. envision him being Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, just hanging on to every last morsel of this game. Like, two's I think two's good. We throw our retirement party at the end of whenever this deal is. If, three years if from he, now. If he announces that three years from now, that's probably it. He retires a penguin. I think this seals it. Uh, I could see him playing maybe another year beyond this deal one you sign one more year yeah i can see that too with the toronto maple but leafs i he's so cup. he's so close to so many all-time milestones i do want him to play forever <laughs> like i want him to play until the wheels fall off mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what i mean like he with yager there was a very obvious decline and i guess the difference is he played in yager's his, still playing I, it's insane <laughs> he he played in the nhl yeah. into his mid 40s he's i think 53 mm -hmm. i saw him still playing yeah he was he was looking pretty good i was watching some of that check league stuff. he's he was, not like out of his element no, at all no. over there he's he's like, the yeah yeah no yeah. i saw those highlights too <laughs> yeah, he's like decent. all right like, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. he should be out there yeah <laughs> i would love still to know sticks in guys the middle of oh guys yeah too. i, I want to know how many body checks he absorbs every game who who's hitting yarder Oh, you got to go for Over, No, you there. don't. Uh, <laughs> no, Chris one, Johnson, no one's hitting Yager. Uh, Chris Johnson, you heard of him? No. Okay. Well, Chris Johnson, guy who's who might be on the rise, I don't know. Uh, he said, incredibly, Sidney Crosby will end up playing 19 of his NHL seasons with a cap hit of 8.7 million. Mm -hmm. 1987. Oh! Dude. I didn't even Crosby. put that together. There's something wrong with that man. Uh, There's something wrong with him. He said that has given the he said that has given the Pens tremendous flexibility to build out in other areas of their roster yep. at the expense of much greater career earnings for him personally. Yeah. Now listen, Sid's done okay on the endorsement game, and will continue to do so well into his 60s and 70s. So I don't think he's worried about money. Uh, but what you, I'd be worried you about. You don't is, see this. You don't see like this. even no, guys who no. make the top top end of every endorsement deal. You still don't see them taking this giant of a haircut on contracts. This is rare across all pro sports. But he's thirty seven. He's thirty seven. He's doing such an honorable thing when he had ninety four points last season. Yeah. And how many goals? 
Uh, 42. Wow. Man. <laughs> like, 40 goal scorer. Yeah. Number one center. He's an incredible player still. Yep. Still. Yep. And, like, he's he's exactly the kind of player who should have fallen apart by now. Mm-hmm. And, like, just the injury history and... He plays hard. He well, plays hard. So what I'm trying to remember... Um, Head injuries obviously endanger careers big time, mm-hmm. but I'm trying to think of lower body injuries he's had because he's such a mule, right? Like I think he had the abdominal thing. I don't remember like knees kill you. Eisenman couldn't play through the backs knees. are like the backs thing kill you. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think he's ever really had that. He's no. just he's such a mule mm-hmm. still at this point in his career. Here's the problem for the Penguins, and this is where I <laughs> criticize the Penguins regularly. I mean, is I they have to this point. That, this Adam is, is so committed to the bit. No, I I, I'm not just committed to the bit. They're poorly managed. I, like I, know. I, I, I hate to say it. This but is good though. No, this I, helps them win. Yes. No, it doesn't because it does. they don't know how to spend the money that they have. No, this this helps them. Great. It's think not the going to help them this year. I think the Penguins are gonna. Yes, it does. Like really, it really improve here. Well, quick. oh, I can't wait with their eight hundred and seventy four thousand dollars in cap space this year and next year. Okay, well, they've got maybe eh, eh, they got some they got some money coming off the books a little bit, but don't, you still have be- you still got Gino at six one. Hopefully, he has another good year. Nick, this is next year. You got Brian Rust for this year plus three more at five one two five. All right. You got Ricard Raquel at five million for the next four years. That's this year included. Huh. I like the bite Michael Bunting deal at four and a half. And but what's that you got, got to do with Crosby? Uh, Eric, because he took less money so they could spend money. And yeah. if you go remember, if you remember oh, what Kiprio said last so year, you're... he said the reason that the guys don't love giving teams the money back is they spend it dumb because <laughs> they spend it dumb. <laughs> And yeah, the, fair enough. And I'm sorry, the Penguins have not spent well. They haven't spent well in in the in the Burke Hextall era. Unforgivable. Mm-hmm. Oh, in the yeah. Dubas era, not that much better. Although they've made good trades, they have made good trades. Dubas always does that. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what Rucker McGordy is. He might be playing this year. That's a crafty little deal. Absolutely, an interesting little deal. It puts them puts them one year up on their development. I hope Crosby stacks fifty on the next three seasons. <laughs> Me too, and I and they'll be a great wild card team. I can Listen, here's the question. I know. The I understand. Do you want to be? Do you want to make the playoffs and be the L.A. Kings, or do you want to make the playoffs and be the Edmonton Oilers? I understand. What and you're what's saying. possible? What's possible? And that's where I still look at the Crosby deal. And I know Penguins fans aren't going to like me for this. Is okay. That's awesome that he's staying. He's loyal. Mm-hmm. He's won you cups. That's great. There is a bit of a hitch in the giddy up, which is um, they haven't lost for extended periods of time while he's been there. He's been a large reason for that, but they have built great players around him. Think about the players, even early on in his career, that came through that system and augmented what Crosby was. So we can go back, Mark Reckie, Bill Guerin, Phil Kessel. Uh, uh, Jordan, playing... Was it Jordan Stahl? Which Stahl brother? Yeah, Jordan. Mm-hmm. Jordan Stahl. Jordan. Yep. Like, and he was a draft pick. I get that. But you, yep. they had the ability to bring in players around him that could augment him. Right now, they're Matt locked Murray. up. Yeah. This is what you are. Man, that's rookie Stanley Cup champion Matt Murray. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. Matt Murray for two years. My point is, it's awesome for Pittsburgh if you want to avoid a situation that's potentially awkward in the next couple of years where Crosby goes, you know what? Maybe I would like to go to the playoffs just one more time and actually have a shot at this. Uh, start dumping some of these shitty contracts and stop signing people to them. But yes. So here's what keeping Crosby allows the Penguins to do. Rutger McGroarty on most teams is Rut- Rutger McGroarty. Mm-hmm. Rut- M- Rutger, f- fuck that. No, I say it 10 times fast. Rutger McGroarty, Rutger McGroarty. Rut- what were his yeah. parents thinking? I do yeah. want to say. I, it's, what were they thinking? It's just That's a big old bunch. Yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> Rutger McGroarty on most NHL teams is Rutger McGroarty. Rutger McGroarty <laughs> on the Pittsburgh Penguins is Rutger McGroarty playing with Sidney Crosby. And that's fantastic. And we learning under him and practicing under Living him. in his basement, because that seems to be a thing hockey players need to do. It's valid. He's going to live with Thornton and Marlowe. It's crazy. Yeah. Valid and vital. <laughs> Celebrini with Thornton and Will Smith with Marlowe. They got to do it. And Mario's going to kidnap Crosby. Yeah, that's right. And, and Marc-Andre Fleury. And Marc-Andre Fleury. Actual story that happened. Listen to Agent Provocative. Counterpoint. It'd be great if McGrady was a bust, so I, I, I can't say that name. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. I think, oh, oh man, he scored zero goals. Now I don't have to say Crosby it. with this deal is clearly saying I believe in the Penguins and I believe that Kyle Dubas can build something there significant in the next year and two years until and, I Ray Bork it with Nate in a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Ah, I, I don't know. think that's happening. I know. I think over the next three years, because this year plus the two on the contract extension, Crosby believes that they can get back to the playoffs. Right. The, right. Like it's not Philly almost made it. Now, I, I Adam not, doesn't believe. That's the thing. No, I don't believe in, in <laughs> what they're doing in Pittsburgh. I do believe that Sidney Crosby staying is amazing, and I'm thrilled. Right, right. Thrilled but the two for, things are separate. Thrilled for Penguins fans about Crosby staying, but I'm just saying, just like we said with Edmonton a couple years ago, if you want to avoid the awkward conversation of, are they going to stay? Edmonton clearly got to the Stanley Cup Finals. Mm-hmm. We still don't know, McDavid, but Leon signing is a pretty positive sign. If they hadn't done that, we would be having a different conversation right now. Okay. Here's- and and so, so Mike, now it is on. What Sid has done here is he's gone, okay, not only am I going to do, I'm going to re-sign with you, I'm going to re-sign with you at my current cap hit. Mm-hmm. Here's your shot. This is like... You're, you're the wonder kid. Be the wonder kid. The, the one time that... Having a jersey number in your contract is fine. He's so the you're only okay player. With People are tweeting me already about that. No, way. he's like, fine. Crosby doesn't count. Okay, you're he good. He's immune. That. He could be making 10 at least. Um, also, I do want to add an update. The CJ show is recording an addition. On, oh, that's nice. Onto the show because Steve, the, the news is. You don't late. need to add that because it, it already. Yeah, it's, this is like. I'm adding it. It's, <laughs> people are listening to this at 5 30. And you're like, you know what? I'm adding it. Back in time when you've already listened to the CJ I'm show. I'm adding it. Maybe I mean, they haven't just, heard it. Maybe they haven't. But maybe. But what if they haven't? Stay out of the, stay out of the group chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the show we're doing actively? People no, want to know. is back. The people, the book the people uh, want to know. Sidney Crosby is never going to fall off because of this. His thighs. Oh, Sidney Crosby's uh, thighs. I, I had a bunch of pictures of Sidney Crosby's thighs up, but I went with this one because this one was from last season. And a lot of the pictures that you'll see of Sidney Crosby's thighs are like throughout the years. They'll be like 2018. Look at Crosby's thighs. This is from December of 2023. He's still got it. They are still absolutely massive and they are not going anywhere. He has muscles that you don't even know exist. His kneecaps have kneecaps. His kneecaps have muscles. Yeah, that's not them. even a kneecap. That's no? muscle around There's the muscle on top of the kneecap what do you think that his uh uh his deadlift is oh like, it's gotta, gotta be, be something stupid five thousand because yeah. like i think it was stamp coast the other year that like, he was doing deads and they were like this is years ago sorry but he was doing like six or seven hundred pounds something yeah. crazy no they're hockey players are built is strange. that what I, do i have that right it was bonkers it was yeah. crazy what he had on that you you think like he's and the, the, I believe it. And you look at Crosby's upper body, which looks athletic, but like normal. He's not like he doesn't look like Dave Batista uh, pre pre all the, the the weight loss. You know what I'm talking about, man? The he's animal. Just, yeah, uh, just those legs, dude. How do you? He's got to get custom jeans. You can't walk into a store. Every store would get, would sell you skinny jeans because you'd never find jeans that would fit. That's how. Uh, mm-hmm. That's how the show started with, with you and. Old school reporter Chris, he brought me to the Jackasters on Front Street, and you were like, "Just talk about hockey," and I was like, "Yeah, I read about Sidney Crosby wearing custom pants. He must recently." And yeah, his, yeah, of course uh, he does. Those won't fit in regular pants. So you're talking about deadlifts. Uh, if we want to compare athletes, Jalen Hurts has a 620 pound deadlift. Uh, That's so insane. I assume Crosby's in somewhere in that neighborhood. But then this past offseason, the Philadelphia Eagles, where Jalen Hurts plays, they signed Saquon Barkley, who's their running back. And he's like, I can out deadlift you. And he did a 700 pound one. It's on TikTok. Jeez. <laughs> he's like, screw you. I said 800 pounds <laughs> is like a joke. I didn't. Actually... No. So I assume wow. Sid, Sid would be in the 600 pound area. Holy. You know, since he's yeah. using his legs That's that much. Crazy. But, you know, Saquon's power runner. It's football. Um, he's in 700 pound air. As an so. aside, all of those <laughs> clips that came out about how the 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 New York Giants lost Saquon and ultimately were like, well, whatever we get offered, we'll just offer him the same. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and they lost him. Wow, do they look like idiots? I just, oh, yeah. just throwing that out there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. The New York football giants. Yeah, that's right. Correct. New York. I, I, when Giants. I was doing my rant about the New York base, b- baseball Giants, I kept calling them the, the Brooklyn Giants. And some people were on me about that because it was the Brooklyn Dodgers that used to be in New York, as well as the New York baseball Giants. Way to so be wrong. I want to correct myself. Way to there. be wrong.